had COVID-19. It was the worst thing I had ever had in my life. Um, I started out with a back pain that was unlike nothing I had ever experienced before. I actually got COVID-19 from my son. He got it from probably playing sports, most likely. And it was just rough. Every day it was like something different. One minute I was cold, next minute I was hot, I was sweating. Near the end of my 10 days, I lost my smell and then I lost my taste. Um, I couldn't really sleep. I would wake up soaking wet from just sweating. It was just, it was bad. Our experience with COVID-19 and my mother in Nazareth was, you know, at some point you just really have to place all of your faith into the people that are taking care of her. Um, we weren't able to come in uh, about a year ago. Actually, Memorial Weekend was when my mother tested positive um, and a quite, quite a few residents tested positive. And it was really a very stressful weekend. Um, I know the National Guard came in to help. There was a lot of work done. Do you remember that you had to be evacuated to a hospital? It was an extremely stressful time, but what gave us peace of mind was that we trusted everybody involved in the process. And it, when you have no control, there's nothing else you can do. So we knew that our mother's care was handed over to someone else and that she would be well taken care of. I got the COVID and it's been almost a year ago. And you know, I was in the hospital for like 10 days. And that, that was not a real good experience for me because it was, we couldn't see anybody. We couldn't have even our loved ones with us. So that was hard, very, very hard. And it was even hard after we came back because we were isolated. We weren't put in our regular rooms. So it was really difficult. I got vaccinated, so hopefully I don't get COVID again. And if I do, it won't be as bad because I was scared to death. Um, our residents, I don't want any of them to get it again because it was bad. You know, I'm glad a lot of them made it and pulled through. And I just, I want to go back to normal. I want to travel. I want to go places. I want to go to the grocery store and not wear a mask. It's, I mean, it's hot. This, it's rough wearing this mask all day long. It's important to me that others get vaccinated because I know even if people don't say it, we're all tired of everybody having to go into isolation. Families can't come in and visit their loved ones. And just all the extra stuff we have to do here. It would be so much easier if everyone would just go get vaccinated. I got vaccinated because I feel like, you know, we hear about the herd immunity, herd immunity, and I actually believe a little bit more in the hive community, that we are to protect others, that we're stronger because we work to protect others. And it's not necessarily that we get together to protect ourselves. It's that at some point you have to think of what's best for everyone else, for the greater good. That's what I needed to do. When they were talking about people getting vaccinated, I was around the desk and I read the nurse's desk and they said, Don, I'll be the first one in the line. And I said, yes, I will. Because I'm able to go out on public transportation and I'm able to live a quality of life. And I, I wanted that back very badly. So that's why I did it. And I would do it again in a heartbeat. Not only for me, but for everybody else too.